Hi everybody. Uh, for anybody who hasn't seen any of my other videos, I am talking my way through what it's like to live with extreme colour and light sensitivity. And uh, these are all video snippets about things that are happening in the moment for me. So today um, is a stormy day. We've had a few stormy days now and the it is just very intense. The atmosphere or the energy, whatever you call it, is just very intense. And like you could sort of cut it with a knife. And uh, what you do on a stormy day, um, it's not an easy one. The stormy days I find very tricky. Uh, today we'd planned to uh, take my son, who's 11, out to see some alpacas because that's his favourite thing to do. So this is a regular trip to a place that we know. And um, I thought I'd been very organised with thinking about snacks and lunches and things like that. And uh, But we got up late and uh, ran out of cornflakes. <laughs> all the things you don't want to happen when you're trying to get out the door um, and then I start to feel like this is too much I'm stressed um, why am I stressed because I'm you know I tend to use my self-awareness a lot and I don't just let things control me I think you know well, why am I so stressed so I'm stressed because I can't uh, well ma mainly because because I was worried about my husband, because he was the one who had to go to the shop to buy the cornflakes. And um, he's the one that had to make Lucas' sandwich. Because of my colour sensitivity, sometimes I can't do things like that. Um, I could put snacks in a bag, biscuits and things like that, but I might not be able to work with vegetables, that sort of thing. So knowing that he's got a load on his shoulders, then I start to get very stressed. And then the energy anyway is very intense and so then I start thinking well you know if if I didn't have this stress if we got up early and we didn't hadn't run out of cornflakes how would the day have been and I think I would have still had this very intense energy and you, you need to find something to match that intense energy um, but not something that's really stressful. So something you really want to do that's intense, but if it's pressure, then that is, um, it's just not a good idea. There's already enough energy out there. So we went to see the alpacas and it was a very beautiful valley. It's very, it was a very soft air today and a very, quite soft light really and so I felt pretty chilled actually when I actually got to the field and I just felt like ah oh, this is okay and the lady who runs the place is very relaxed and you don't it's, nothing's hyper and you chat if you want to chat or you're quiet if you want to be quiet and that's all just so nice uh, so I was feeling very good and then um, something interesting happened in the conversation uh, so uh, we're doing up our house to neutralise colours and patterns and the lady from the alpaca place asked us how it was going and my son said, you know, oh well, you know, something's happened, hasn't it, you know, because we had this drama of a flood caused by a radiator uh, valve top coming off, water everywhere <laughs> and um, as soon as my son said this, I sort of felt like Oh, I'm not sure I'm not sure that's the right conversation for today because that feels like a bit too much energy in it so sometimes I've wanted to tell that story all guns blazing you know all the details of the, the, the black water and the fountains of water and the backing up boiler and the industrial dryer from the, from the professional carpet cleaner and I enjoyed telling that sort of, um, that full on story. But today out in that lovely subdued light in the field with the stormy weather, there was enough energy already. 
In the same way that um, we sometimes walk the alpacas and we have a put a lead on them and take them across the field. And and my son said, you know, do you, are you going to take an alpaca today? You know, and I said, well, no, I'm, you know, I'm 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 not really in a very hands-on mood. I'm I'm in a more of a hands-off mood today. And you know, because there's enough energy around already. And so that is is really um, how I felt. And as far as the conversation went, I managed to sort of channel it back to talking about something that was much more relaxing. Uh, how we decorated our bedroom with IKEA furniture, and it felt like, oh, well, that's not charged, you know. That's that's an that's an easy, nice, easy conversation. Because if a conversation is charged, and there's lots of energy around me, then I start to feel all these tingly feelings in my body, and it's like something is telling me, stop, Jenny, stop being so intense. You know, you're not, you know, this 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 isn't gonna, this isn't this isn't going well. <laughs> So, I haven't managed to do this in one take today. There is just too much energy <laughs> around and it's uh, uh, messing up my brainwave patterns. Um, so, but anyway, I want to share this today because I'm sure we've, you, you have this experience of stormy days and stormy days affecting you. I think stormy days affect a lot of people. And so, for instance, if you were trying to get your child to school and it's a stormy day, you know, they may already feel like the intensity of the, uh, of the atmosphere or the energy. And, uh, you know, they're already finding things a bit too much as they're trying to find their school bag and put on their uniform and things like that. And, and then you're feeling it as well. And, and so, you know, you're, you're that little bit more edgy, a bit more intense, a bit more charged and then they feel it from you and and this is how it goes on stormy days we sort of charge each other up and uh, so the, the only answer really is to um, is to do those things that are intense that uh, feel good to you and keep pressure low on yourself and your family and I think that, that is the best advice I've got for how to work on a stormy day with the light. So um, that's it for today and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.